What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another solo leveling arise video and look at this guys We got ourselves some brand new things and I'm gonna be doing a summon video But before I do that, let's go over the shop and see what's brand new here because we will be doing some summons on Beck and brand new Silvermane and also talking about where the brand new weapon resides. So first off, uh, the remaining purchase, total purchase icon now is changed. It is now going to be the Huntsman instead of a character, which is actually pretty damn cool. So you guys can see here, limited tickets are being involved as well too. Some blue designer packs, some gold, and as well as a Hunter's Association support chest. But ultimately, the Huntsman is going to be in here for you to go for. So if you're looking to get that, that is one way to go for something right there. Uh, I don't see anything brand new happening here, by the way. This has all pretty much been the same. Special packs, let's see if there's anything new for for special uh gold support mini pack oh this is new look at this oh this is a way to get more gold now by using regular essences that's a pretty big deal and look at this as well holy jumping so they've added in a couple new packs here guys for us to absorb as free to play players and pay to win players so a couple things have been updated here a pretty big deal and look at this i've got a level reached icon now level 60 wasn't something that we had in the level reached category it looks like they may have actually put one in there for us in order to get us so let's take a look here look at that level 55 that wasn't originally there so we got something brand new there let's see what the pay to win aspect of it gives us because i've got some i've got some diamonds here right oh and level 60 also been added look at 50 yo good for you guys good for you okay let's let's take a look here i want to see what this one per account is for each of the 65 also damn son look at that guys all right, so if you don't know, 50 was the, the most we had before. Now look at this, I got up to 50, uh, 65 as a matter of fact. So 55 gives us 35 of these for 5,250 packs. That's a really good deal, actually. So that's worth it. 60 pack, 40. Oh my God. Definitely worth that. Yo. Yo. These are crazy good. Okay. Relay pack. Are you Have you returned? You have not returned. Okay, so that part's the same. Uh, so that's pretty crazy guys. I will have to admit that's that's pretty damn cool seeing that. Let's see here weapon exchange Nothing's changed here. Nope uh, Mana crystals exchange nothing's changed here and battlefield exchange of time nothing has changed here So we got a few new bonuses guys. That's for sure uh, So let me go ahead and do my stuff. We're gonna come back here We're gonna take a look at the draw together But that is something brand new for sure That is a very very big deal actually for a lot of play to win players and some free to play players Now you can actually get yourself some gold using your essences Which is a big part and then pay to win players can now spend even less to get themselves all these extra little tokens But the big thing is these level reach icons for pay to win players is massive all right guys i'll be right back all right guys back here again so uh rise points are amazing honestly they've saved me so much money i mean i've spent money to get them but i'm at it so uh we spent roughly about uh 200 more dollars guys so i'm um, if you guys want to know number wise where i'm at now again uh just so everyone's on the same page we are now currently at uh, 2k 2k spent on this game 4k made on this game still doubling my amount so i'm still good on this um Again, I can show you guys any time to prove that, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual draws. Now, before we do that, let me just get this stuff out of the way. Uh, I'll do this mining stuff tomorrow. Now, I will be going live tomorrow morning for you guys with Silver Man Beck, so we can Silver Main, sorry, Silver Main Beck, so we can see kind of how he works and functions. Uh, but we're gonna look at the draw system right now and see kind of where the weapon's at, and then kind of look as well at uh, if he's worth it or not. So first off, this is the character you guys can see here: 46 out of 80. My actual um, pity did carry over incredible so right up you still have a day to go for Choi, which is actually really good because you can decide then if you want to go for him or not now new selection you guys can see a brand new icon is popping up here a new weapon has been added right there uh, to the lineup and that is going to be the following dagger right there you guys go so it is in fact here so let's take a quick look at it before we do anything else okay so uh moonlight shine this dagger looks incredible first off so max out let's just do max let me see let me go back let's go max it here okay so a5 uh, everything else here remains the same. That's never going to change. When moon, uh, moon glow shining in the dark is used, it applies the full moon effect. I think we've re re read this, but let's do it again. When the last attack of the moonlight shining hits a target, it slows down time for three seconds and applies one instance of lunar eclipse to the target uh, with full moon. Okay, so let's take a look here and what it does. So uh, full moon, duration infinite, stacking up to one times. And then lunar eclipse increases the damage taken by 10%, increases the user's dark damage by 10%. So if you pair this with another dark weapon, you're killing it, right? Uh, 
the enhances the full effect of full moon. Uh, again, stacking up to three times for full moon versus stacking up to one time, so three time, three effects now, and then now becomes 15% and 15%, which is pretty big for A1. Uh, and then A2, you get, of course, more dark damage, which is important. When Shadow Step hits, it applies one instance of Lunar Eclipse per instance of full moon. So Lunar Eclipse, again, will be this here. So every time you have full moon up, you'll do that with Shadow Step. Decreases the cooldown of moon, uh, moon Glow Shining in the dark by 20%. Again, that's the skill name. And then, what's the A5? The user's damage increased by 15% while the time slowing effect is active. This is going to be a crazy strong weapon, guys. Like, super, super strong. So, uh, we got 147 summons here. Let's take a look at the raid info here. I think that will remain the same, obviously, based on what we're going to pull. You guys can see it is on the list. Uh, the current select up rating is Huntsman. Uh, the Thesis Grimoire, the Vulcan's Rage, and Seos. I'm going to take Vulcan's Rage and replace that, obviously. We talked about this already. We're going to add in the brand new dagger, and that will now allow us to pull for this. So let's go ahead and start our summon video, guys. And hopefully we get a few copies of this dagger. Now, because this dagger is in the regular banner, this is a wonderful thing. Now, there's some negative and some positive to this. So let's talk about both while this is happening. Uh, the positive, right? The positive is you can summon it at any time. That's beautiful. So you don't have to worry about using limited tickets on this. This will be available to you for summoning at all times, which is exactly what you want. The negative part of it, of course, is the following. The fact is you will now have to compete against three other items uh, that you, of your choosing to get this weapon leveled up. So that is in itself going to require a lot more luck than usual. So, of course, keep that in mind. But, if, but again, you can do this at any time, which is the beauty of it. And it's way easier getting these tickets than it is getting tickets for the limited banner. Man, oh man, look, I'm just getting characters now. Okay, where are we at here? Okay, and we'll do, we'll do, we'll look at back after this, okay? We're gonna look at the weapon first, and then we'll go after back after, okay? Let's see what we can get here, guys. This is a pretty, pretty big summon video, man. It's, it's a lot of tickets. It's a lot of tickets. Okay, so nothing there again. We'll, we'll skip the SRs because we know we're gonna get them anyways. Like, that's irrelevant there. Okay, come on. Just give me the weapon, man. I honestly, like, matters way more to me than anything else right now. No, still SRs. Give me a weapon at least. Oh, good. Westwood. There we go. I'm, I don't even know if I'm maxed out for that or not. Hold on, guys. I gotta switch this up a little bit. Because the Huntsman we can get now in a different way, I'm gonna put Emma in here. There we go. Okay. We're almost at the raid up section, so let's see if we can get... Like, I, I'm... My luck is pretty bad for the most part. I've had better luck in my free-to-play account, which is very unfortunate. Uh, it's like they know. You know, it's like they know they want you to spend money on your main account. And remember, guys, please, 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 for the love of God, there we go. Uh, please spend responsibly when doing this. Remember, I am a content creator. I make money off of this. I make my, my returns easily uh, and, and then some. So please, if you are planning to spend, don't get FOMO. These characters will be around uh, for quite some time. Don't let it get to you for that reason. Okay, let's see what we get here, guys. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. I got another Emma. I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay, so we got one out of four items right there. Okay, Emma got Emma done. Okay, gonna have to start pity over again. Summoning sessions in this game freak me out because of the the four raid up thing. I wish they only had one raid up thing, and I'd be I would have been happy with that. Because then you can just like pinpoint what you're looking for, right? Okay, got some more tokens there. I just, I honestly would love maybe an A1 copy of this weapon. A1 I'll be happy with just to test it out. Um, well, at that point, I'll just summon whenever whenever I get a kind of scenario. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, Grimoire, and I think, I think I'm maxed out on Nighthood already. All right, guys, 77 tickets to the left. So we will definitely hit Pity one more time if we have to. We'll see what happens with that. Come on, baby, come on. Give me some fake outs. Ugh, nothing. Okay, what do we get? Another Kim. Another Kim. And see, the thing, the beauty of this weapon also, because it's dark, it's not like a necessity for me because I already have A5 Scythe, A5 Plum. It's not a necessity, but I do want to test this weapon out and see if it's like worthy of going further than A1. 
Another West Wind. <laughs> Shit. People struggling to get that weapon. I'm getting it on a constant basis on two accounts. Alright, let's see what we get here, guys. So far, no go on any of this. No fake out either. Damn, son. Alright, alright. 47 tickets to the left, guys. Just one Emma so far. Oh, here we go. There's an error. Alright, let's see what we get. Weapon. Are you serious right now? I took you off my list. <laughs> oh, that's brutal, guys. At least I got a park. That's good. I think that will actually max her out. Bro, come on. Like, the one weapon I took off my list just because I, I was going to get it for free through the, the dollar package thing. That's so brutal, man. Looks like new weapon might not be coming home today, guys. May have to wait for that. Well, let's, let's hope we get better luck with uh, with Beck. Because he's, re he's really the main star of this whole situation, right? Like, the weapon is just a bonus added feature. Again, we're still going to go for it. But we're not going to uh, we're not going to cry over spilled milk here over over the weapon. Okay, we have enough. I'll do two more summons for this one. I'll do the the ten here and then By the way, speaking of huntsman, um so thank you for those who got I think it was uh I forgot who the individual was that did it for me. Found some testing on it. Um the A5 version of that weapon is almost impossible to reach. You have to find somebody that has constant break breaking of shields for it to actually stack to 99 stacks. I don't know why they put 99 stacks. Maybe it was just because they didn't know how to scale it properly. But yeah, it's almost going to be impossible to reach 99 stacks, just so you're aware. All right, guys, there we go. So that's it for that. Uh, yeah, it, <laughs> that, well, that wasn't very good. All right, let's take a look at him real quick, okay? Just so we can all kind of see where he's at. Uh, increases the user's basic attack damage by 8%. When the user base attack hits, takes damage equal to 0.5% of current HP, but deals damage equal to... Okay, so he looks like he's going to be... Oh, of HP of the target. Okay, okay. Let's see. Based off of attack, so we know that. Okay, attack. Let's just see his previews. Let's check out his skills real quick. Okay, let's see here. Basic. Okay, straightforward. You know, cuts enemies into pieces. Oh, pretty cool. Okay. Strength and Soul White Tiger Roar. Applies the Super Strength Armor. Increases the user's basic attack damage and attack speed by 30%. Increases damage taken by 15%. Deals continuous damage equal to 4% of current HP every 3 seconds. And that's okay. That's okay. Um, this is his... Increases the user's attack by 20%. Increases damage taken by... This is actually huge for... Uh, for... For Jino. That's a pretty crazy attack. Okay. See the ultimate. All right, that looked pretty cool. It was, it was okay. The user uh, cannot be applied to world bosses. See, this is what I was worried about. The user's skill damage increases equal to 5% of users' reduced HP ratio. When the slaughter of violent ap approach hits, inflicts bleed on the target. The skill damage the user deals to magic targets inflicted with bleed with magic beast claws and slaughter increases by 20%. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So he's, he's definitely dragon set, like 110%. I mean, he's going to be pretty insane damage-wise. You can already tell, like, all of the scalings here are going to be wild. Yeah, this is... I mean, he's going to be pretty crazy. Not going to lie. Okay, let's go ahead and summon. And see what happens, guys, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do, like, I don't know, 26k. I think that's fair enough. Let's see what we get out of this, okay? Let's hope we get some luck. That's, like... The fact that he can't bleed on world bosses, I know I know they did it with Kang and stuff, so he's just like, this is a stronger version of Kang pretty much with his bleed. That's a lot of SRs. Um, I'm just a little unhappy with that because I feel like with an, with an S-class hero, they should have allowed the bleed to happen on bosses, like world bosses, to make him a little bit more unique in that regard for bleed. Because at the end of the day, it's, I mean, his bleed is a small portion of his damage. Clearly, you can tell most of his attacks are coming from skills and basic damage. So that's where he's going to shine. So I'm going to have to do a lot of farming for those. Look at that, 3S. Oh, there we go. What do we get? Do we get him? Yes. That's great. We got him, guys. Easy peasy, baby.
That was easy. All right. That's how that's how my other summon should have damn freaking gone. Okay, let's go again. Let's hopefully we can get a couple copies of them, okay? Because I do want to test them with you guys tomorrow. I would love to be able to test them out with some with some A1, A5, A4, whatever the hell he's going to end up being at the time. And it's beautiful because now I don't have to worry about summoning for un until Cha comes out or whoever the next unit's going to be, right? So it makes my life easier. Ogre Raid Sword, okay, that's fine. I think I need more copies of that anyways. I'm trying to like max out all my SR weapons so I can start melting them then finally. Because again, I'm not I'm not melting any SR weapons. Neither should you until you get A5, A10 minimum, right? For your SR weapons at the very least. Rare weapons you can melt whenever you're ready to. But I don't recommend ever melting um, SR weapons. Okay, so we know these are going to be rares. Nice, another park. Okay, so we maxed out park already. So that's good. Yeah, let's see here. Holy parks. Jeez, that is a lot. Sorry, I just skipped that one because I knew it wasn't going to be anything. Animation, animation, animation. Let's see if we get errors here at all. No. Okay, so this could be a fake out at the very least. No, it's nothing. It's nothing, nothing, nothing. Another bow, okay. Hey, I think that bow might be maxed out at this point, to be honest. It's great. Like, again, getting SRs is not a bad thing for me either. Like, I, again, I want to max them out. Take advantage of the salvaging whenever available. It's more resources at the end of the day. Man. Got them pretty early. But now it's like struggles. Fake out? No, no fake out. Okay, another SR. You're going to have to get his... Um, you're going to have to craft his weapon as well now, too. Okay, any errors? No, nope. maybe a fake out? No, nope, no fake out. Yeah, we're getting close to pity guys already. 60 out of 80. Okay, so this is going to be a raid up very shortly. I almost want to go back to the other one if I don't get it to test out to see if the pity transfer actually... Oh no, you know what? I got error here. You can tell already. Yeah, this is error. This may or may not be a copy of him, by the way. No. Watch. You know, crazy part is I actually did want a copy of him. I'm trying to work on him as well, too, to test him out. But not in this freaking banner, man. Come on. Oh! Oh, back to back. Oh, perfect. So we got a copy here for sure, because it's 50-50. Amazeballs. Okay, so we got an A1 out of him. Oh, that worked, that worked out. <laughs> okay, I'm okay with that. Okay, do I have enough for a couple more? Let's do a couple more, guys. Don't need to max them, that's for sure. I don't think that's going to be required, but I do want to. I do want to go as a little bit further if I can. Okay, cool. Sorry, I'm skipping a little bit now. It is pretty damn late, so. Bad feeling about I had a bad feeling about that one. I don't want to skip it. I just had a bad feeling about it though. Okay, another SR weapon. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. Opportunities, opportunities, change. Shit. Okay. Dude, where are we at here? Not too many left, huh? Not too many left, guys. If I can get one more copy, I'll be happy. Change. SR, SR bow. Okay, that's the crit bow. Crit damage. I think I have that maxed out already, too. No fake outs at all, huh? You guys are just gonna do me dirty. Okay, so we got oh we got orb here, but I think that might be maxed out for me. We don't have enough. We're gonna be missing. All right, guys, we're on the raid up section. So there you guys go. I think I'll stop here for now. Um, let's go back to see him real quick. First off, let's get him up. 
I don't think he's better than Choi, by the way, from his kit. Just so if anyone's asking, would you choose him over Choi? No, I would choose Choi over him any day. From from at least what the kit looks like so far, right? At least from what I'm seeing. But we're going to, again, more testing will be required. We'll do some of that together tomorrow. Um, so let's go ahead and do one here. Let's say how many times when the user uses extreme attack beast form increases critical hit rate and critical hit damage by three percent every one second for ten seconds. So I mean it goes up, it goes up pretty substantially actually. Okay, so we got a one. Um, I definitely have to get his artifact up and get get him going there. Okay, let's uh let's get Emma up as well. We just got her. There we go, got her up as well. All right, guys. There we go. I think that's good for now. Let's uh, let's reconvene tomorrow morning with a live stream and see what we can do here. I might summon a little bit more. I have. We'll see. We'll see how much uh, how much that's gonna go. But um, I think this is good for now. I think this is good for now. Let's uh, let's reconvene tomorrow. I'll do a live stream tomorrow. We'll do some testing on them. I'll get the right gear set up, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys. Payne, hope you enjoyed the video. Best of luck to you if you decide to go for him. I'll give you a full review tomorrow of whether he's worth it or not. That way you guys at least have some data rather than just a kit. All right, guys. Talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.